Usually it's during takeoff and landing when passengers may hold on to their armrests a little tighter. It's just part of the part of the trip you know so we came out of Dallas they had some bad weather coming out of there but turbulence can happen at any time thousands of feet up in the air well it happens I mean what can you do you know a recent Lufthansa flight dropped hundreds of feet Wednesday hitting what pilots call clear air turbulence it is terrifying to lose four or five thousand feet in severe turbulence it, it, it's terrifying I don't care who you are if you're sitting in the front or sitting in the back it's a uh, it's, it's a surprise, it's terrifying. Aviation expert David Bajellis says newer aircrafts may have advanced technology showing radar like this, picking up certain turbulence on the radar several thousand feet above and below the airplane. When there's moisture involved and when we have convective activity, that means, you know, thunderstorm type activity, we know it's going to be rough. And we turn the seatbelt signs on, we tell people to sit down, tell the flight attendants to sit down. And uh, usually it lasts for four, five, ten minutes, whatever, and then we're through it. Even with that radar system, is there a possibility that you may come across unexpected turbulence? We can't predict clear air turbulence. We don't know if it's a jet stream issue. We can't predict it. We can only predict it if there's moisture in the air. NASA continues researching turbulence using unmanned gliders in a controlled descent to advance turbulence detection. The FAA has guidelines for airlines to avoid these conditions, but also says passengers should keep their seatbelts buckled at all times. We willingly put ourselves in a tube that goes 500 miles an hour, five miles above the earth. So uh, the best thing you can do is wear your seatbelt. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.